Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and today I'm going to talk about shock rebound, what it is, and how it affects the car on the track. Let's get started. So I'll explain what rebound is first. Um, I have this shock built, both shocks actually are built with the same oil and piston. This one is using the clear soft bladder that X-Ray offers. So you can see the shock piston, or the shock shaft doesn't come out at all. This is considered a dead shock or zero rebound. This shock, like I said before, has the same oil piston in it. It has the hard honeycomb bladder from X-Ray. You'll see the, the shock shaft comes out quite a bit further. Um, this is considered rebound or a good amount of rebound for eight scale shocks. So this is the three bladders X-Ray offers. First we have the soft clear bladder. It's really soft. It gives a zero rebound or dead shock feel. Next is the black bladder. It's the same shape as the, the clear one, just a little bit stiffer uh, rubber. This one will give um, kind of in between of the three rebounds. It's going to give a little bit more rebound than this one, but not as much as this one. This one is the honeycomb style. It's the stiffest of the three. You can feel it when you it's in your hands. Um, this gives the most rebound and the most active shock. Okay, so 99% of the time, I prefer the soft clear bladder, which is a dead shock or zero rebound. The reason for that is, is most of the tracks nowadays are very high speed. Uh, they get rough towards the end, and it makes my car feel very calm, consistent, predictable, and accepts bumps at high speed really well. Uh, it never really does anything weird. It's, it's just easier to drive overall. So when I want to put some rebound in my car, when I use the black bladder or the honeycomb bladder, is when I want, or when I'm at a track that, say, is really tight, um, flat and smooth, where I want my car more reactive, specifically like an indoor clay track, um, you want your car kind of more agile because it's a small, tight track. So you want the, the shock to give, put some rebound in the shock. That way the car's a little bit more lively and can get around the small stuff um, better. So when you have these two in your hand, as you could say before, the, sh the rebound doesn't look that much different on the bench, but it really does make a big difference on the track and how the car feels. So don't worry about the, there's not much difference here because it will make a big difference on the track. So to recap, uh, when you run the more rebound, which is either the medium or stiff bladder, when you go down, it's going to have a little bit stiffer feel and then it's going to react faster when it does come back up. And with the dead shock or zero rebound with the soft bladder, it's going to be more consistent going down and more consistent coming back. So I'll always start with the zero rebound with the soft bladder uh, and then if I feel like my car could use just a little bit more response or reaction I'll go up to a little bit stiffer bladder just to give it that little bit extra um, but that's kind of a smaller thing rather than going to a spring or something more major so it's a really good fine-tuning option to be able to do on the car. So that's a little bit about shock rebound and the effects of it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe and like and comment or message me on my Facebook and I'll try to, I try to keep track of the comments on Facebook, but if you message me on my Facebook, it goes directly to me. So thanks for watching and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.